Welcome to 20 Fingers 2 Brains. This is part 17 of online shopping cart project. In our previous videos, we have explained the entire source code. If you have not gone through the previous source code, uh, please go through it so that there is no confusion in understanding the entire flow of the project. In this part, we are going to explain the admin module, how to get all the products and categories, the design and code. So in the admin folder, we have added a new page category. To add a new page, right click on this add new item click on web form using master page uh, name it as category dot aspx when you click on and uh, click on add there will be a prompt to add a master select a master page inside that we have to select admin master dot master then click on ok so once you done you are done with ok you get a category dot aspx page so this entire page will be initially empty because and uh, this is added under a master page initially it will be empty so if you go in the source code of this there will be only a content placeholder inside this content placeholder we have added a div with align equal to center and inside the div we have added a label and for that we have added some properties font weight equal to 700 and named it as all categories and then we have added a horizontal line after that we have created a table structure in the table structure we have added the cell spacing as one width is 100 background colors we have given something then we have a table row and inside that we have a table d with align equal to center inside the table data we have added a tree grid view so to get a grid view we can go on the toolbox we have the data section from the data section we can drag and drop the grid view to change this theme you can select auto format there are many themes available you can select any one you want and click on apply you click on apply or uh, this entire design footer header pager and all these parameters will be all these design parameters will be available automatically we have named this grid view as gb available categories so this is how the design of all category.aspx looks like. Now let's go through the code how, how we are getting all the categories from the database. Uh, it's a pretty simple method. Uh, we have in the if not is post pack. That's mean, that means we want to get this code only once when the page is loaded. Click on get categories. Created a method get categories. Then we create an object of shopping cart which is a .cs file in shop in business layer we've added a reference to our uh, business layer like shopping heart dot business layer shopping heart and business layer so we can reach till shopping cart shopping cart k then we create a data table k dot get categories this method we have all discussed in our previous videos but we'll still discuss the same thing uh, it's a stored procedure to get all the categories we have a stored procedure sp all get sp get all categories this stored procedure will fire and return all the categories which are there in category table so we have already discussed this it will return the data table and here we check if the dt dot rows dot count is greater than zero if it is greater than zero we bind the data table to the grid view for binding the data table to the grid view we have grid view category available categories dot data source equal to dt and finally we bind it using the data mine method so let's run this website so that we get a view how the data is pop getting populated on when we log into this here we have added the menu for all category when you click on all category the page is redirected to admin slash category dot aspx page and in this grid view we are getting all the categories which are there on which are available in the shopping cart the same categories are there on the home page of the shopping cart our next point of discussion is all products all products will get all the products irrespective of the categories which are available and their available stock so for this in the admin folder we have added a page 
products.aspx to add a page just like category we have to do the same procedure for products.aspx when we add a products.aspx page initially it will be empty in the similar manner we have inside the content placeholder we have added this design view so in the source the design view we have taken a div with align equal to center and inside the div we have added a label and in that label we have placed the text as all product then we have a table inside the table we are assigning a grid view we have named this grid view as grid view available products and the only thing we need to change is the column section in this column section we are adding few fields the rest of the design parameters like ascending cell header style row style page style will be populated automatically when we select the design from the auto format any design that will give a different parameter and different view of this grid view so for if you see for all this 1 2 3 4 5 for all these five columns we have added a data that's why it's showing as data bound so for all these columns in the column section if the column section is not there you can manually type it see you can manually insert the column section and inside the column section we have added bound fields bound field is for only showing the data data inside the grid view image field is used for showing the images inside the grid view so here we have the asp bound field the data name data field name is very important because the data field name will be binded from the database whatever values we are getting from the database those values we are going to use to bind it to the database here we have the uh, name category name available stock price and image url all these fields will be populated from the database and bind it to this grid view so let's go in the code if you go in the code part here we have products.aspx.cs file so similarly what we have done in category.aspx.cs here also we have not is post back get products get products we are passing the category as zero so get products will get all the products from the database so get all products uh, we have already discussed this in our previous videos this entire short procedure so we can skip right now so this will return all the all the products from the database so now let's put a breakpoint over here and also put a breakpoint over the category so let's go in the admin panel and i click on all category the value which is getting returned from get categories from the database is all stored in the dt so if we see the dt we have the category id and the category name so both these fields will get binded to the grid view here we are not specifying any column because we are going to show all the columns which are there in the database in the data table so this gets up and shows all the categories with category id and category name next is all products when we go on all products we pass the category id as zero and here we get it so if we see this from the sp get all products the value which is getting returned is category id product id name price image url category name product quantity product sold and the available stock so all these fields we are going to show in the grid view if you see the grid view of product.aspx here we are only showing few fields because only those fields are required and 
all this name category name available stock price and image url these fields are getting are matching with what is shown in the what is being shown in the data table which is getting by into this so we can easily see all the product name for category available stock price and their images here another announcement which we can do is like we can add a delete button over here suppose the admin of this website does not want any delete any category and he wants to delete it so when user clicks on deleting the close all this category and all the products in this category will get deleted so this is an announcement which we will take care in future if it is required otherwise this is not required now a similar way we can delete a product if it is not as per our requirement it is not required to be in this card so we, we can add a delete button over here but right now we are only adding all the category and all the products in our next video we will see how we can how we are getting all the customer orders and binding it to this grid view so thank you for watching this video if you have any query feel free to ask you can put a comment or also you can drop a message on our facebook page thank you have a nice day